Hey guys, it's Kyra, and for today's video, I'm going to be doing a story time. I've done a story time before when I was young, and this one is also when I was young, but a little older than the last one. The last one I was talking about when I was four years old. This time I'm talking about fourth grade, maybe fifth grade, so I was like nine or ten. And, um, yeah, first I want to start off by saying there's sparkles everywhere. I put it in my hair, and now it's everywhere, like my bed, the couch, still in my hair, even after I washed it, so it's going to take a while to get rid of it completely, so if you see any shining, that's what it is. Um, okay, so the reason that this story came to mind is because I had a dream, and... Well, I'll let you in on the dream. I dreamt that I was like on this rope kind of thing in air flying. But like before I was doing that, I felt I was getting that feeling of flying. And it just feels so real. Like it feels like I could do it in person, like in real life, but I can't, you know. But like it just feels so vivid, like if I could fly. And um, so I was dreaming of that. And basically my mom was like inside my... She was looking out the window, and my brother was down there, outside the window, because we two-story apartment. Okay, and um, she was talking to him, and and I was flying around trying to avoid the window so she doesn't see me, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. But eventually, she did find out I was flying around, and she was upset because it's dangerous um so what else so I asked my snapchat if I should post a video about what the story time is and they well two people said yeah so <laughs> here I am okay so um so it was fourth or fifth grade and okay little backstory I used to be bullied and well yeah I feel like maybe I, okay that's a whole nother story um but yeah so I used to be bullied and the kids that would bully me they were kind of popular well basically everyone was popular except for me everyone knew each other you know um and well I think I was trying to impress them because I felt like oh you guys are bullying me but I can do something you can't and, you know, I've always had these dreams where flying felt so vivid, felt so real to me because, yeah. And so when I was younger, I confused reality with the dream sometimes because I really did think I could fly sometimes. I was like, wow, was that really not a dream? Like, it felt really real. So I was like, well, I can probably just do it on command if I tried. And so I thought that I was above the kids that are bullying me because I can fly and they can't. So I was telling them that I could do it. And, like, so we all, I don't know how many it was. It, it probably wasn't even a big deal. There's probably, like, maybe, like, what, five kids? I don't know. But they were circled around me. And they're like, okay, then do it, you know. Lo and behold, I couldn't do it. And it was embarrassing. So, yeah. It's just a, basically a story of how I embarrassed myself. Honestly, I know that's not really a significant story. But I really wanted to say it because I thought of it when I when I got the dream and I just felt like it was really funny at the time like looking back it's like wow like you really thought you were above them and that you were gonna show off and fly and then no you did not. So that's the end of my story. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you liked it even though it was like kind of boring now that I think about it. Maybe it's only funny because it was like a failure on my part but if you felt like it was funny thank you for watching. Um... Well, bye. Ow.